Hey Kim, what are you doing? So I just got a call from Tyra Banks people, and they want you to go on the Tyra Banks show. Do you want me to go on Tyra? Uh -huh. Tyra Banks has asked me to be on her show next week, and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I love Tyra. I know. How cool would that be? There's just one little catch. What? You'd have to talk about the tape. One of the things that Tyra's going to want to talk about is the sex tape. When I first heard about Kim's tape, as her mother, I wanted to kill her. But as her manager, I knew that I had a job to do, and I really just wanted her to move past it. I don't want to talk about it. I know, but you could just, you know, be honest and say how you feel and... Um, kind of just set the record straight? Yeah, you could do that. That was with my boyfriend of three years that I was very much in love with, and whatever we did in our private time was our private time, and never once did we think that it would get out. I'm gonna be Tyra, and you're gonna be Kim Kardashian. So, what do you do for a living? <laughs> Tell me. I own a clothing store, and I'm a wardrobe stylist. Why did you make a sex tape? Because I was horny, and I felt like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in New York to be on the Tyra Banks show. I'm bringing my best friend, Brittany Gastineau, with me for support. I love this dress. This is what I wear all the time, so I want to give it to her. Did she say that she wanted it? No, I just I don't I want to fill up the segment so she doesn't ask me, like, questions that I don't want to answer, oh. like the tape and stuff. <laughs> it will go by so fast. I like this the best. I think you look, like, so chic. That doesn't look right. It's well, a daytime talk show. This is, like, perfect. Like, that's not going to look right. Yeah. Here, she saved the hotel. Oh, here, use it. I hold. <laughs> it's, like, stuck. Like, I feel good in this one, but I also don't want to be super boring. Should I just bring my whole bag? The whole suitcase? I have no choice. I'm just getting really nervous. You know, it's my first interview with a live audience and on camera, so I don't want to be nervous and say the wrong thing. I just want it to be perfect. Does Tyra come out and like meet you before you go out? Um, I don't think so. I so badly just want Tyra Banks to be over. I want to just snap my fingers and have already done the interview. Five minutes, please, folks. Five minutes till we walk. And I gotta cut this tag out. I wish I had more time, but I'm like freaking out that I'm not ready. Right okay, well, we can start walking. We're gonna mic you downstairs, okay? I wish my sisters were here. That was good. How did it look on camera? Good. Oh, I was so nervous. I'm like sweating in this time. Really? It's like I'm so freezing. I know. So it's like freezing, freezing, but I'm excited. I think it's good. Now you don't have to talk about that ever again. I'm done with it. I don't even want to hear it again. I'm done with my Tyra interview, and the only thing I think will make me feel better is shopping. 42 carats, $1.2 million. That's not so bad. Kim? What happened on Tyra? She's so nice. She's great. She was making me feel very comfortable. Kim actually does a really good job under pressure. She was wanting to talk about, you know, the sex tape. And she was just trying to ask the questions <laughs> that I think other people would want to know. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to drag it on and let people be reminded of a negative thing that happened in my life when I don't have to. I agree. Hopefully, I'll replace it with a lot of positive things. You should have said, hey, Tyra, wait till you see Bruce's sex tape. So, waiting for your hug. Group hug.